episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger for you guys. Now, as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail, I get this question a lot. Um, I get this question almost every time I do this to any one of my cars. And it's basically, how does the car drive at night? Like, how can you see at night with the window tint on the windshield? Now... Rather than me sitting here copying and pasting 20 times, um, you feel me, my answer, I thought I might as well just go ahead and make a video for you guys by give, and give you guys two different angles. So, with that being said, in this video, basically we're just going to be going out, um, cruising, it's dark out out right now you know what i'm saying it was raining earlier it's currently 7 42 um so the sun has gone down completely so this is the perfect time to go ahead and hit the road man so with that being said make sure you guys go ahead and smash that subscribe button if you're new turn on the post notifications and give this video a big thumbs up let's go ahead and hit the road <laughs> You guys can tell it's raining so i can't really do pools or anything like that right now um just because the floor is wet man and you gotta play it smart and play it safe you know what i'm saying just make sure you're being safe at all times because you never know uh what these tires are going to end up doing you never you really never know so with that being said man we're just going to cruise around a little bit I'm going to go in some dark areas, some areas that I know, you know what I'm saying, would uh, raise concern. Um, and then I'll give you guys a quick POV as well, you know, you know what I'm saying, in cabin. As you guys can see, you can still see, man, you know what I'm saying? Is it a little darker than normal? Hell yeah, but it's already dark outside, so it's like not that big of a difference. Now, would I recommend getting this on a car that, say, has like some some beat ass headlights to where you know you got to do a restore restoration uh build on them or whatever you know what i'm saying try to clean up the lenses a little bit probably not um one thing that i can say is on all of the cars that i did tint the windows on i definitely had some bright ass headlights um on all of those cars Mamba had some bright ass headlights, you know, with the fog lights as well. And then on top of that, Hazel, the first car I did, and that car I did 5% tint on that windshield, had like eight total lights up front. Because I had the 15 Z01 front bumper conversion on that car, so it had a shitload of lights up front. So I wasn't really tripping on, you know what I'm saying, the fact that, oh, I got the windshield tinted, I might not be able to see. Nah, bro, you're, you're straight. As long as you have functioning lights, you can't go tint your car and, and expect to be able to see if you couldn't see without the tint. You feel me? It's just, that's, I feel like that's just a no brainer. Also in this video, um, one thing that I do want to talk about, I'm going to try to keep the window as clear as possible, y'all. Look, as you can see right now, we're directly underneath a street light, and you can see perfectly. It doesn't even seem like there's window tint on this joint. You feel me? So it's like, it's like, bro, it's, it's literally like driving. Okay, the best way I can put it is like driving your car with sunshades on at night. That's literally what it's like. Like dead ass, bro. Look, I'll go ahead and show y'all. That's window down. Window up. It's like putting on sunglasses, bro. It's not that bad. It's really not that bad, honestly, in my personal opinion. Um, but there are some things that I do want to talk to you guys about in this video. So let's go ahead and get into those topics. A while ago, I had hit you guys um, with a video asking what I should do whether uh with the build whether i should stay in a 
or if I should do a supercharged or boosted setup on the car. And the response was great, man. You know, a couple people said, go FBO, the car's gonna eat. You know what I'm saying? It'll be a monster, E85, headers, intake manifold, uh, cold air intake, and a tune. And the car would eat, and that's very, very true. But before I bought this car, and my boy Shad, um, you know what I'm saying, Rashard, he can definitely attest to this, uh, you know, my car salesman. He definitely got in my head as far as the boosted possibilities with these cars, bro. It's just insane. And so with that being said, I've honestly been leaning towards going FBO and then throwing a Paxton supercharger on this car. Now, I am, I'm torn between either the Paxton or a VMP. Now, the reason why I say I'm torn is because, honestly, bro, they're both great blowers. Um, they're both great, they make great numbers, but the difference, the main difference is that the VMP is a root style uh, supercharger. So it goes on the top of the motor where your intake manifold would go. And the Paxton, um, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below, but I believe the Paxton is, I think it's centrifugal, if I'm not mistaken. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below, man. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm not really good with all the terminologies and whatnot. I just know what they do and, um, you know what I'm saying, what you get. Well, okay, okay, we just gone. <laughs> like, bro, no blinker, nothing. See, I'm happy that I got this camera facing that way for you guys so that y'all can see. I definitely need to get a dash cam because driving in Houston, even if you're in a car or if you're on a bike, bro, is just dangerous. Why? Because the people in Houston cannot drive. I've said this time and time and time again, bro. People in Houston suck at driving. Like, it's just a known fact. It's ridiculous. But anyway, getting on the freeway right now, there's barely any street lights. We do have street lights, but they, they're trash, honestly. Just keeping it a stack with you guys. The, they're like yellow, they're not even like clear, white, you know what I'm saying, nothing bright. At least on this freeway right here. And I can see everything. A main indicator um, of, you know what I'm saying, being able to see is seeing the lines on the floor. So if you can see, the white tops, you're straight. I can see them, so I feel like I'm good. But anyway, like I was saying, I've really been leaning towards going Paxton, man. I gotta be honest with you guys, just because I know that those joints make an insane amount of power, easy. The Gen 2s love them. All right, y'all, give you all a quick look of the car outside. Like I say, you can't see sh nothing. <laughs> in this joint at all, you feel me? Full walk around, 5% tint on the doors, and 20% tint on the windshield. You literally can't see nothing um, from the outside of the car. As I told y'all earlier, it was raining, so the car does have a whole bunch of water spots on it. But as y'all can see, gas station lighting is always the best lighting, right? So let's go ahead, hop inside the car, and show y'all the difference. Okay. Let me close the door. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, that light, super bright. You see the difference? You can wipe the windshield. It's definitely a big difference, bro. Definitely. Close that joint. And you're chilling, bro. You're chilling. So, like I say, if you guys are thinking about getting windshield tint, bro, on your car and you don't know if you really want to do it, you're on the fence or whatever, bro, just go ahead and do it. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to regret it. It's not that hard as long as you have functioning headlights. Headlights that work will save you. If you don't, don't do it that simple not just for looks it's actually ceramic um tint so it actually repels the heat uh from the heat the sun rays 
uh, it bounces them back and doesn't allow them to go inside the car. So it actually is functional. You feel me? If you need that tent, <laughs> hit him, my boy Shark Tent. He'll take care of you for shit. So, but anyway, like I was saying, bro, as you guys can see, you can literally see there's no issues at all as far as visibility goes. So with that being said, man, to answer you guys' this question, yes, I can see at night. No, the tent hasn't hindered my vision at all. It still looks the same to me as I drive on a day-to-day -day basis. It's just hella cool when I get in the car now. Like, it's not dark. I mean, it's not hot, you know what I'm saying? And that was, like I say, um, my biggest thing, you know what I'm saying? My biggest reason as to why I did this in the first place. So, if you're on the fence about getting your windshield tinted, you know what I'm saying? There are it, there are pros and there are cons. Um, one of the cons being it's illegal in almost every state. <laughs> you feel me? But uh, one of the main pros is you can get in your car and touch your shift knob if it's a man, if it's a manual, or even if it's an automatic. You know what I'm saying? Even in an automatic, you still gotta put the car in drive. You know what I'm saying? You can touch your shift knob or your steering wheel without burning the flesh off of your freaking hands because your car been sitting in the sun all day. You feel me? I'm sorry, but just I, I drove for a period of time with just the doors and the uh, and the back windows tinted, and I must say that was definitely trash. You feel me? It was definitely trash. I hated that. It was still hot. The sun would definitely still get in. It would still be baking the crap out of my car. Um, and the interior would definitely still be hot. So, I ain't even gonna lie. I definitely needed that tent. So, without further ado, man, like I said, if you're thinking about getting the windshield tint, bro, and you're on the fence about doing it because you don't think you'll be able to see, go ahead and refer to this video because I'm definitely driving in very, very low lit areas right now and I can see perfectly fine. With that being said, y'all, if you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe and for, ah, I said subscribe. Make sure you smash that subscribe button for the kid. Turn on those post notifications and give this video a big thumbs up because it definitely helps me um, with the YouTube analytics at least. Um, putting my videos in the YouTube algorithm and you know uh, spreading the videos out to other people that's how it works with YouTube so if you haven't already give this video a big thumbs up drop a comment in the comment section down below let me know what windshield tint you have on your car or if you're thinking about tinting your windshield what percent you're thinking about going with like I said this is 20% but you could always go 30 or you can go 35 I had 30 on uh, Mamba that wasn't too bad honestly you could still see inside that car through that windshield but it is what it is I wasn't expecting that joint to be that dark anyway um yeah man y'all let me know down in the comment section down below like I said but that's gonna be it for this one I will see you guys in the next one peace